we got a folding phone now. It, it you take it, but then you open it up. I mean, look at this. It's like a tablet. It's uh, it's pretty interesting. We'll see. And you close it up. Maybe one day they'll have a phone you can roll up like a ball and toss it in your, in uh, in your pocket. I like the pumpkin donut. I've said this many times from Dunkin' Donuts. I think the problem is that there's too much pumpkin spice right between now because it used to be a starbucks thing everyone knew and made fun of pumpkin spice this and drinks and and milkshakes but now it's in the dunkin donuts now it's in even smaller places it's just it like creeps up on you and it's it's september right so again i feel this is more of a rush to push us towards october so in my opinion there's just too much pumpkin spice steve Weiner here from getrebix.com and today we're going to take a quick look at a new feature or relatively new uh in entra regarding device settings and local admin options hey, you're missing the point i know i don't have to order it but it's there it's like they're pushing it it's like it's in your face get rubik's solving for the modern workplace Okay, so as we all know, one of the main benefits of uh, deploying a PC through autopilot is you're able to restrict, I don't know why I just made two tabs, you're able to restrict the local administrator count, or I should say suppress it. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. If we go to deployment profiles, uh, we can take a look at my autopilot profile. And of course, one of the options here is to uh, address the user account type. So I'm making that standard. This means that when a user signs into a device that's provisioned with autopilot, even though it's the first user to log in, they're just a standard user. And that's a tremendous benefit to get to this modern cloud native zero touch state where we can just deploy devices and, and have that nice balance between you know, empowering the user to set it up themselves, but not handing over keys to the castle, if you know what I mean. Uh, but one thing, is what happens if we have a device that's either out of box non-autopilot or a case like this where I have a Windows device that you know I really might just want to sign in and uh, let's see here we're gonna go to access worker school and I'm gonna connect an account you know I'm gonna self enroll this device right I'm gonna join uh, this device to enter ID and I'm gonna do this as a user who definitely should not be a local admin um because it's not me so one of my standard users and we're going to sign into the device and the device is going to join entra it's going to roll an intune and, and all that all that good stuff okay so we're all ready to go i'm gonna sign out as or sign in as bob and uh let's see what happens here Okay, so now I'm logged into the desktop as Bob, right? We can uh, we can just take a look to verify that. So unfortunately, Bob is an admin. You can see it says administrator on the machine because I didn't have, didn't go through autopilot, right? And this gives Bob access to things that I don't necessarily want Bob to have, like running command prompt as an administrator, going to the registry, things like that. Now, of course, what you could do is you could block personal enrollments from devices so that obviously someone can't just go get a PC, enroll it themselves out of the box. But something important to remember is that's only going to affect into, right? It's not going to affect enter ID join, right? Which are two separate things. And aside from that, even if you were to block personally owned devices, and let's say you're in a situation where you're, you know, moving a bunch of devices over that are already joined to a domain and perhaps you're migrating them over to Entra ID join. Uh, if they're not going through autopilot, it's not going to suppress the user from being an administrator if they are already administrator until now. Now we can do it without autopilot. OK, so in order to do this without having autopilot apply or if we're not using autopilot for some reason, we can go to our Entra tenant, entra.microsoft.com and go to devices, all devices. So device settings, we're going to see a new uh, feature here. So again, this is where you're allowing Microsoft Entry join. You're allowing the registration. Um, but notice down here under local administrator settings. So um, registering user as added, registering user is added as a local administrator on a device during Microsoft Entry join. So this means during that process, the default 
is all, unless we were using autopilot. But now they've exposed this to us, so we can slim this down to maybe certain members. So for example, I'm probably gonna use myself, uh, actually you have to add. So I'm gonna add myself as a, you know, local admin of the device right here. So I would be a local admin, but anyone else like Bob or Rick Jones or, you know, Luke Skywalker, we don't want them in there. And if I didn't want anyone, I could just select, you know, change that to none. All right. So what is that going to look like in practice now? Because we already saw that by, you know, leaving it the way it was, Bob became a local admin. All right. So I'm going to go back to the device before Bob is even a user on it. And we're going to run that same scenario again. So we're going to go to accounts. We're going to go to access work school and connect. And just like before, we're going to hit uh, join to enter ID. And now we're going to go ahead and sign in with Bob again. All right. And we're just going to wait for the device to get set up again. OK, so the first thing I'm going to do is go to settings and accounts. And you can see the difference here. There's no longer the administration thing under administrator under Bob's name, right? So same thing. All we did is change that setting. Uh, and just to test this out, we're going to go to the command prompt again and run as administrator. But you can see this time we're getting the uh, UAC prompt because we're not an admin. We have to supply the credentials. So yeah, let's, let's hit no for that. OK, great. So literally just by setting this to selected and narrowing it down to the one user, uh, Bob <laughs> is no longer an admin and we didn't have to go through autopilot or do anything else. We just changed the setting. So this seems small, but to me, this is a really nice addition to the platform. And the reason being is we're taking capabilities from something like autopilot, right? And adding them to different situations. So you know, in my opinion, like I always say, options are good. We don't want to pigeonhole solutions, right, into certain product sets. Autopilot's great. Obviously, we talk about it a bunch here. But for some folks, maybe we're not using autopilot. But wouldn't it be nice to give that same capability of suppressing the admin user to folks not using it as well? So great new feature. Definitely check it out. I've tested it on Windows 11 23H2 and 24H2. Um, I, I would imagine, you know, the, the requirements are on the website. It's probably 22 H2 type of thing, uh, but definitely check it out. Let me know if you have any questions, hop in the discord and we'll be seeing you.